Hello, hello, I hope you're all doing well. And in today's video, we're just going to be looking at how I made the, my album cover. Uh, the album should be out right now. I, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. But we're just going to take a look at um, the time lapse for this, and I'm just going to explain along the way. So let's start it now. And first, I always just like adding a plane and for this one i knew i wanted to add water so i just uh, applied my my water material that's on my gum roads and just played with the lighting uh, from the physical starlight and atmosphere add-on then i usually just add a, a different plane the same size uh, and subdivide this a bunch so i can add a displacement modifier and uh, when the scale is not applied it will just use the scale of like what the actual scale is so th that's what i'm doing here so the displacement scale is, is really big and then you can apply the scale and then do a displace again with the same texture and you have some extra detail on on your mesh um it just sucks that you can't like um change the scale uh, past like two on 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 the displacement which you can do it this way and just fine it works well you can also just use the ant landscapes but um this worked well for this scene so now i'm just checking out the water and kind of getting the composition and the idea down uh it's just uh, seeing where i want my camera to be but it's looking down the river a little bit i've made a render like this before i'll leave it on the screen now uh it was actually my first video i think uh, but yeah, so I'm just adding a uh, mountain for the background to like fill up the empty space because uh, the background might become a little empty and I don't want that. I want something to look at. You don't want like a... You want, don't want it to be like empty behind your scenes. Uh, I, I've said it's in the Discord before. And if you want to join the Discord, you can... Um, just click the link in the description. It's a really great place to get in contact with me. Which I, I'm just adding a vertex group for the grass and some trees later. And I'm just doing this with the botanic um, add-on. It's just the most amazing add-on ever created, to be honest. For grass and trees and plants and everything you might need for nature scenes. So I'm just changing the camera depending um, on my, my scene. I changed a little bit so i'm changing the camera as well i need to add some more mountains in the background uh i had to correct the scaling a little bit uh, because the botanic library works with uh, realistic skills scaling and i messed up my scaling so that's uh, just <laughs> yeah that's how it goes you just have to fix the scaling i wanted to add a little green murkiness to the water so i did that make it a little bit rougher and add some more detail. And now I'm just going to add the trees. And the grass and uh, the other plants. And I also have to uh, fix the scaling of the water. So this is the part where um, it's not really finished yet. I don't have the final idea, but I know what I want to do. And I'm just uh, trying some, th some things out. And it's really important in uh, making environments like this. It's just to check everything out. Uh, so maybe I'll come at some different ideas. I've had a different idea with this render, uh, which you can see a little bit later. I messed up with the fog and it created a really creepy effect. So I just made two renders out of one render, which is uh, amazing if you can recycle your um, scenes for different renders. So here I'm adding rocks, and I really like adding rocks. It uh, adds so much, I think. I don't know why, it just adds uh, a lot to the landscape. And adding some trees, and my favorite tree are the birch trees. You can hate me for loving birch trees, but they just look cool. Uh, like the, the leaves, uh, the leaf distrib distrib distribution on the on the tree is just amazing messing with the scale i might make an add-on it leave, leave a comment if you want an add-on for like the particle system uh because i just find myself 
uh, doing that thing over and over again, like uh, rotating the object uh, 90 degrees on the x-axis and like uh, selecting it in the particle system. It just sucks. So I, I might just make an add-on if, if there's enough people in the comments that want it. Uh, I see I'm doing it here again. I'm just doing the same thing. It just, it just sucks to do. Mm, but I'm just adding some bushes here. And I really liked in the, 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 the background, you can see it's it kind of feels like moss or something. I really like the, the shadows going over it. And I had to like sparse them out in the foreground that they were too much, a little bit too much. I wanted to see the rock and like have the sun hit the rock and then have the like little specks of white in the water look really beautiful. And I just added some trees to the background as well. To make the background a little bit darker, uh, the farther you go. Now I'm just uh, messing with the situations and the coloring on the trees. I just wanted to match um, the, the grass and the, the bushes I and the shrubbery I added. And I added some lily pads, which you can see here. But yeah, I just wanted to like match all the green with uh, all the greens in the, in, in the scene. And I really like the sharp green. So I just matched that, matched the trees with that. With that. Um, and yeah, that, that, that's basically what I did. Now just filling up the like uh, sky spots with some more mountain. So you really can't tell that there's nothing be of a, yeah, that, that there's nothing behind it. And this is where I added my fog cube. It's also just really standard procedure. Just adding some, uh, a fog with a cube with fog, um, making it, the cube as small as possible, and then just adding a volumetric. And you can see here that this is uh, kind of what I wanted, but I messed with it uh, a little bit later and it just became really dark and, and blue. Uh, but you'll see that in a bit. So yeah, I just wanted to make like, um, with the anisotropy, just had to have the god rays, if that makes sense, just come in the, in the scene. And that looked really cool. And now it's just fixing the lighting. So yeah, you can see here, uh, I, <laughs> I messed up the fog and it looked really cool. So I decided to grab my character from the uh, music video which is on screen now and just import it in my scene and uh, it looked really creepy so i made two scenes with a uh, one scene it's a two in one it's a combo deal it's a package deal <laughs> so yeah as you can see here i'm just placing my subject in the swamp or whatever in the river i don't know and the render will be on the screen now and I'll place the other render on the screen if it's finished as well. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. I tried adding uh, like some um, some mud and things, but it didn't really work that well. So I just ended up not doing it. It's a, a good process. Uh, it's an important part in the process, just like trying things and they don't work, so you. Uh, just don't do them but yeah this is basically the end of the first one i will be rendering this one in like a bit yeah this is where i render it and it will be on screen now and now we're just going to go over to the uh, second one i did uh, so back in the project i fixed the fog and i'm just adding some more things which i missed in the original render So doing these shrubs again and making them uh, a little bit more interesting. I added a different shrub uh, in the background and just matched the color again uh, to that nice green color. You could say that's like one tone of color, um, but I disagree. I think like the lily pad, uh, pink, and then the white from the stone and the trees, and then the green really makes up like the most amazing um, color palette ever 
So I added some more rocks along the coast because that's how rocks work. Uh, I thought with the new shrubbery, uh, the rocks just like fell in, um, fell behind in the background. So I added some some more. And as you can see, this is basically the final rendered image uh, with the fog added, of course. So this is where I rendered it, and I have the dust add-on enabled. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found this useful. If there are some questions, please go over to the Discord server, which will be linked down below. If you want to work with me, you can contact me on my business email, and all my links will be on screen now, and I'll see you next time.